let us talk about overall head shapes as far as <clears throat> distinguishing people. Now, I have talked a lot in my other tutorials about what the ideal of the human form is like. That is, what what is the standard and what makes us all alike. But the way we distinguish different people are their deviations from that form. So if you want to draw people and make them look like who they make them look like who they are instead of just a generic person you want to think about when you look at them the first thing you ask yourself is how do they deviate from the form and the form I'm talking about is the proportions your head you know uh, the head eyes are pretty much in the center of the head then you have the skull cap brow and nose are along the thirds here and um, then the lip the lips here are above the halfway point between the nose and the chin these are all standardizations of the way people look but just paying attention to how we're all alike all the time is not going to help us draw distinct people so what you can do then is start to see the ways that people deviate from the, those forms and if you look at cartoons they take that exaggeration to an extreme where they'll they'll take like the most outstanding characteristics of an individual and bring those out and play down all the other forms you know if someone if their if their nose is really big they'll play it up even more to really show off the character of that individual and what ma makes that individual distinct and I've found not needing to exaggerate the form that to get one way to get a very distinct look to make people look like who they are is to look at their head shape and to forget about the standardized form for a while and kind of think like a cartoonist for a minute even if you don't plan on sticking with it and think about what their head shape is forgetting for a little bit understanding that for most of the time a head shape is spherical try to think of try to ask yourself you know um, if I had to draw one shape that would define their overall head shape what would it be you know some people might have you know kind of an overall pinhead shape and by when you the thing is, is when you, you can glance at someone and kind of come up with what you think their head shape is and then that way you can it's easy to remember and then if you want to draw them later you can recall that and uh, draw so, you know get their likeness down without having to look at them thank you for watching this tutorial it's made so that people can be told about an illustrated film Episodes of the film are posted at solomation.com. New episodes are posted as they are finished. All episodes will be free, available to watch at solomation.com.
when the project is complete. You know, there there are people that are really good at it that that can draw you know someone and and people will be like oh I know exactly who that is and there are different exaggerations of people that those two different exaggerations might be very different from each other but they still get a likeness of the individual these what I'm drawing here are not aligned to the standardized forms of people at all this this is really out of whack with the whole idea of perspective and heads and faces but it's a really great way to remember and capture people and think about the way what makes people distinct you know so it's a really good practice to get into just think about you know is there are is there head shaped is there head shaped you know like sometimes i have a name for it like one person might have kind of an eggplant shaped head you know another person might have like a teardrop shape or a lump or a block you know and and that way I can remember it and and store it away so it's a good thing to practice even if you're not into cartooning if you're if you draw realism it's a really great thing to practice because it trains you to look for the deviations and to feel comfortable with distorting the human form no one no one fits the standardized form everyone is asymmetrical and if you really want to draw people realistically you need to deviate from the standardized form you know otherwise you're not drawing realistically because no one fits that standardized form if you want to be able to draw people and get a likeness this is a great place to start and you can see what I'm working with here this is all real cartoony this is not any detail or anything but look understand what I'm doing here I'm looking I'm trying to find their overall head shape and the way to do that is to think about what their most prominent features are and the overall head shape so if someone's head is very much a ball and and their face their face area seems to be very much small on their overall head area think about that let's say that you know they've got like this squarish skull and their jawline seems to drop away a lot then you can take notes on on that and what I'm trying to emphasize here is that the shape that I'm paying attention to here is kind of if if you couldn't see their features at all and you could only see the outline of their head not their hair because that's gonna change it a lot but we'll work on that later if you just if if you shave their head and you just saw the outline of their head what would that shape be like and the fact that the human head has very many different shapes to it but by taking a quick note on that head shape you are much closer to getting a likeness of that individual. So I hope that helped, and I hope you have a good day, and uh, have a good one.